So hey guys, welcome to Rebel Religion and excited tonight because we're trying something new. Uh, this is the first time I think I've interviewed a, an artist for the, the channel, so that's exciting. Oh, this is, that's an uh, and, uh, So we're here in Holy Cross, the Hoobin Centre in Ardoin, Belfast, uh, because in probably less than an hour, uh, Krista is going to be performing, super psyched, because uh, I've not seen Krista perform before, although our paths have crossed. Um, and cross gar which I know you have a yeah. a, a little affection times, yeah. for. I know I do, I've heard in the grapevine that you like um, cross gar It's a beautiful place. Yeah, I love um, it. But you're here tonight for the first time, I believe, performing yes. in the Hoobin Centre. Very first time, yeah. So that's good. Super psyched. So um, I'm going to hand over to Krista to see a little bit about herself first. Just introduce herself, see how she's arrived here, and maybe a little bit about about your music. And then I've got a few questions here for you. Okay. Uh, I look very professional tonight. These <laughs> these questions were actually um, drawn up by a friend of yours, so really? they mightn't actually be a friend. Maybe after I ask you them, maybe you mightn't wow. be friends after that. But that was good because I had no idea what to ask you tonight. So uh, I'm glad that uh, somebody. I'll not. I'll not implement them anymore. Oh, but right, <laughs> see that. Okay, Krista. So listen. Thanks very much for taking time to join us. Uh, if you just like to say hello to our viewers and 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 what we're doing here. What? <laughs> well, okay. Well, hi everyone. Um, my name is Krista Detour. I'm from Indiana, Bloomington, actually, Indiana, and I'm a singer-songwriter. I have been coming to Ireland, I think, for about 12 years, and I have been performing and doing benefit shows and things like that for the Passionists um, in Ireland, for probably 10 of those years. And so I'm um, very fond of the work that the Passionists do and I'm very fond of the way that they do it. And um, I love the Toberwara Monastery down south of here. And I'm so excited to be here. I've been touring, I've just got back from, I've been in Europe in Holland and Germany and I just got in last night and I did my first show uh, down in Rathfryland and now I'm here in Belfast and I'm gonna be just south of Dublin tomorrow night and I'm I'm just thrilled to be here for the first time excellent yeah excellent okay well listen Krista let's not uh, mess around and I'm gonna get stuck in with these questions here and see what, okay. what lands All right. um, so the first one we have here is have artists slash musicians a contribution to make in an increasingly polarised world? So these are quite dark, dark deep questions, so sure. you can probably guess who's come up with these. Now I think that's a little unfair because I think it, it's a rhetorical question. Artists clearly have a contribution to make, so mm -hmm. uh, perhaps best is what, what contribution do artists, musicians uh, have to contribute in an increasingly polarised world? I think our biggest contribution is is essentially trying to provide a, 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 the human component of conflict. People being polarized um, is, is historically consistent. We've, people are polarized and, and we're in a very, very increasingly polarized time. But I think that the role of art is to shed light sometimes on the differences, but more often than not, it's to shed light on the commonalities, I think. It's what we have in common and our common shared humanity. And I, I think that that is art's biggest job, not to highlight the horrors of the conflict, but to highlight um, the joys and 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 passions and love and and all of the things that we as human beings live for. So I think that art's role is to remind us of what's important outside of our outside of our polarized views. Totally, I think the world arts and especially music um, is so powerful, as you say, in uniting people and perhaps, as you say, in a, a polarized world, uh, music has that great power to kind of bring people together sure. despite often the conflict as you say it can often be a healing healing process music so many people you know uh, especially young people I think that's why music's so powerful to them uh, where they find 
all people find that have that kind of music that kind of defines points in their life, uh, it speaks to them and often gets them through hard times when they are feeling maybe polarised within themselves. Okay, lovely. So, second question, Krista, is are you hopeful that we have a serious desire and will to address climate change? So that's kind of caught me off guard, this, because I thought, why, why is it this question? But when I seen some of your, your new, certainly it looks like your newer material, I thought, well, maybe there's something there. So maybe you want to say something on that. Uh, I, um, I'm incredibly hopeful about that because I believe that human beings are at their best when things are at their worst. And I believe that we very often need extremes. We need extreme crisis to... Um, to, I'll say, to evolve, uh, to uh, bring our very best to the surface. So we're sitting here at a time of, uh, that seems increasingly perilous in terms of what we're watching uh, happen with our climate. And I'm hopeful because the millennial generation is very, very keenly aware of what's happening and is uh, at the forefront, I think, of forcing governments, forcing local, regional, national, international leaders to take note of what's actually happening and act on it. And I think that in and of itself, the generation that's coming up, which is you, all of you, um, will force change, will absolutely force us all of us to respond to it and there's a lot of pushback right now because people have a hard time accepting accepting extremely difficult ideas this is difficult it's very scary and um, people want to pretend that it's not happening in in a lot of regions I'm from the United States it's you know it's there's no one I don't think there's anyone on the planet that's pretending that it's not happening more than a lot of Americans but it's certainly not all of us and you have to believe that most of us know what's happening and most of us are absolutely willing to we're doing everything we can so i'm very hopeful about it yes excellent and i love that word that's the word that i'm holding on to hopeful um even my generation you know i'm very encouraged by like you say the millennials yeah. as i hate tagging groups but they seem a lot more up on these things like even our generation at education yeah. we weren't we don't we don't really know the lingo or the language or the issues but the young ones coming through now they, they, they seem a lot more clued up and, and willing Absolutely. to make change and it is it's going to be a slow maybe painful process like as we even basic things like recycling can be hard for uh, some generations and stuff all these new ideas and concepts but it is real like you say these things are real and present and and I like to say hopeful that maybe we can make change for the better so the final question is do you believe spirituality is a positive element in one's life um not only do I believe that spirituality is a positive element in one's life, I think that spirituality is part of being alive. I, spirituality is, uh, I think it's something that a lot of people spend a lot of time trying to deny or to minimize or to um, set aside or to, uh, you know, make dogmatic, um, I think that I think that spirituality defines us as human beings. It's it's one of it's one of the things that makes us that makes us what we are here on planet Earth. And I think it's I think without any spiritual component in in a life, I I don't I don't see that life as being as full or 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 um, or beautiful or, uh, or or faceted. I think I just think it it spirituality is uh, encompasses just about everything, and it is certainly part of what inspires music. It inspires my music. Um, it inspires, I think, all of art. And however it is that you however it is that you define the spirituality in whatever way it exists in spite of us 
That's beautiful, Chris. I, could, yeah. I don't think I could agree more. I think what you're saying is so, yeah, like, like spirituality isn't, isn't even just an element, it's actually our being. Yeah. It's part of who we are. It is, yes. Uh, and maybe the mistake we make is seeing it as a thing to be doing as opposed to yeah. a part of who we are as a being. I think you see that a lot today, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, we like to, like, again, that polarised idea, we like to be putting things in boxes, and maybe right. spirituality is something you see. Like a, our tradition is something you do on an hour on a Sunday or something rather than accept or acknowledge that it's actually part of who we are there's no escaping this spirit it's how you, how you say how we express that yeah, yeah. lovely excellent alright well that's our questions out of the way so uh, one little bonus question okay John thank you for the questions <laughs> uh, no secret there to who they were this one is my own one so I'm just okay. intrigued because uh, this is a fun little one you're from Indiana. Yes. Uh, so when I hear Indiana, I've never been to America, unfortunately. I'd love to get there. But one growing up, Western culture, pop, uh, the big famous programme was, if I said Erie, Indiana to you, does that drop? Does that make any sense to you? Yeah, Erie, Indiana. <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a... I haven't watched it, but it's a programme, yeah. It's a... It's a... It's a... It's a, it's a spoofy horror it's just kind type. of like a kid teenagers yeah. growing up in, in Indiana and there was kind of like yeah. spooky stories that would go on. so yeah. I w- it would have been great if you'd seen it and you'd t- tell us is it is Indiana really like Erie Indiana in the TV program do you have any I Erie wish I had Indiana seen it but yes Indiana tales. is exactly like <laughs> the Erie Indiana program and I haven't actually seen the program itself but just the descriptions of it yes Indiana is exactly like the Erie Indiana program so if you so, haven't yeah. seen Erie Indiana, probably on Netflix, check yeah. it out. I think they're actually doing a remake, which got me really excited. They're oh, talking, no. You know how they remake everything? But Erie Indiana's quite old now. I think it's like the 80s, 90s, so it's due a reboot, as they say. So Indiana might be back on the map soon. Oh, Eerie gosh. Indiana. God, I, I, I can't wait. And it's a brilliant theme tune. That's what I remember. It's a kind of cool kind of intro music theme tune that was uh, wow. kind of kept in. I'm sorry that I'm not more up on the Erie, Indiana thing. Um, I thought you were going to bring up Michael Jackson or somebody else who's from Indiana, but no, the Erie, Indiana thing. I'm going to go check it out now, though. But uh, I do feel certain that it's an accurate depiction. (laughs) There you go. So listen, I think it would be worthwhile. Part of this is we're going to direct... Uh, you to to Chris this stuff I'm just going to hand it over to you and we'll I'll put some descriptions in the link below so please as you see you heard Krista these gigs tonight and a lot of the work Krista does is uh, is is charity events raising like for instance now we're, we're raising uh, money for the Daneo services a wonderful uh, service here in uh, particularly in Ardoin in Belfast that helps people especially through trauma uh, and that counselling work psychology in the area of trauma uh, especially through the troubles and, and other issues and stuff like that doing great work so we're, so we're blessed to have the calibre of people like Krista that continually come back support our work as passionists in that way um, so please go to Krista's um, websites or social media whatever she's going to describe here check out um, some of the material and stuff that she's going to tell you about uh, and, and if it's available online maybe you'll even think about supporting uh, artists in that way if you thank want, you oh you're welcome listen to go tell her let's tell people about some stuff here okay well this is my latest album and uh, it's actually a, it's a collection of my favorite songs and uh, I think that, like I said the first time that I came to Ireland is about 10 years ago and so this is called Chaos, Collisions and Clocks and um, I have a lot of a lot of music that covers a variety of, of topics but you know a lot of it is, is wondering about the world wondering about my place in it our place in it um, watching change happen and and how we respond to it and how I respond to it. Um, it's kind of cross-genre. Um, yeah, if you like singer-songwriter or any... And it's sort of in the folk, folk vein of things, but I have a classical music background and I play with some really wonderful musicians, including a guy named Victor Wooten, who's an incredible bass player. Uh, he's on... Uh, a song on this album, a couple songs, and um, you can find me at kristadetour.com, and I'm on Facebook and Insta and Twitter, and um, I think that's all the social media that I'm on, and 
I, uh, I just I tour a lot and I'll be back in Ireland for sure by 2021 but more than likely at the end of this year so yeah I'm 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 glad to be here and glad to be bringing this album and I'm very very glad to support the good good amazing work that the passionists are doing and I'm glad that the passionists are on YouTube <laughs> thank you Krista so listen guys that's it and as you say so as we're saying uh, support in all those different ways and as you say you're not here alone tonight aren't you not you no. have uh, some people um performing with you um... i do i've got uh, i've got a local uh, i've got a multi-instrumentalist uber talented uh guy named james connor and he's right outside the door and i've also got a guitar player with me wonderful guy named david weber and i think i'll get him Hold okay on. let's go and get those guys to say hello have a seat you're live? Are you, are you on YouTube? Oh, we are! Yeah. Nobody told me that. <laughs> so... I will stick my head in here. Hello. There you go. How's my hair? So this is okay. Dave Weber. <laughs> and this is Jim Connor, James Connor. And, uh, James, where, do you, where, are you, where are you playing? You play all over Belfast. Yeah, I'm currently all over Belfast, so you'll, you'll catch me on a, on a Saturday night in the Hart Bar. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, you'll see me all over the place, so whether it's at weddings or whether it's playing in local bars in different areas of Belfast or in the town itself. So yeah, you'll, you'll see me in a right mixture of it. Every Saturday you'll catch me in the Hart. Excellent, James. Do you have a website or contact? I do, jamesconnor.com. So Connor with one N, C O N O R. Lovely. We'll link it in the description below. So Thank if you're you. in Belfast area here, you're looking for any of those services, check our man out here. And David, yes. Did you see anything exciting for our viewers here? Uh, ah, David's a David's a producer, <laughs> and he he's pretty. He's uh, we have a we have a recording studio, commercial studio in yeah. Indiana. He produces a ton of people. And uh, he was also a catcher on the Flying Trapeze. He's a circus guy. And uh, wow. yeah, I don't even know what else. Should we try something Very here? Is it good space? Yeah, a little trapeze. Yeah. Uh, the trapeze. ceilings are a little, <laughs> a little low. Yeah. So this man has been very humble. I've heard rumors that there are a lot of talent in the room here. Yeah, uh, we're squeezing into this little um, studio here, but it's great to have you. I've seen to Krista, so appreciative of of your time and, and helping us out and what we do here and super psyched about the gig that we're getting ready for Definitely. Uh, guys so I had really deep questions provided for me but all I was okay. interested in was asking Krista is Indiana like Erie Indiana? <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of it? You know yeah, Indiana, Indiana. Yeah. you know that you excellent. I thought that was no, just going over there. I thought, that. am I the only one that's heard of Indiana? Oh, that's he had a good, good. answer. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so listen, guys, so nothing else to say except keep it rebel, keep it religion, guys, and see you again soon. God bless. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having you now. Nobody believes me. But this is the center of weirdness for the entire planet. Thank you, little paper boy. Eerie and here. My home sweet home. Still don't believe me? Hey guys, so if you found this, you found one of our channels, Easter Eggs. Um, unfortunately, never got footage that I think did the gig justice tonight for Krista de Tor. Um, but I think we've went one better and we've got some CDs to give away here. Um, so what we're going to do, let's have a look at these. These are amazing. Not only are they beautifully designed. Look at that. That's an orange. But they are, um, they have been signed as well, signed and dated from the gig. And we have two to give away. So how we're going to do this is simple. The Chocolate Paper Suits album, uh, all you need to do is the first person to uh, comment below with where uh, Krista is from. Do you remember where Krista says she's from? Pop it in a comment below and we'll post that off to you. For this one, um, 100 likes, it's as simple as that. You need to be a subscriber and like. Once we hit 100 likes, um, one of our lucky subscribers uh, will lottery pick 
and you will get this one. This is the new uh, CD that uh, Krista was talking about. This is so hot off the press that I, am, I don't even think it's available on the website there. So be remember to check out uh, the website as well, KristaDetour.com, where you can find uh, all this material also. So good luck, uh, and we're looking forward to giving these away. Keep it rebel, keep it religion. <laughs>